All right. All right. We are live for part two of four for our series on how to massively accelerate your cash flow in the next 30 days. How does that sound? I'm just getting my camera set up here and then we're going to rock and roll. So I want to bring up something that happened yesterday and this is, this is really the exact perfect example. It goes right through and they don't get it. Diagramming parts of what, how you do and showing you what you do really helps capture the essence of what you're trying to say and it helps them see in a different way what it means and, it, and, it, and they understand it in a subconscious way much faster. So um, remember we talked about if you wanna accelerate massively your business, if you wanna grow it like crazy and get accelerated cash flow, there's three things. Remember we, we talked about this? You have knowledge, you have speed, and you have strategy. And when you have the perfect balance, that's the key word, when you have the perfect balance, which is the middle, that's when you grow like crazy. That's when you start to see on your, your sales and your revenue graphs, right? That's when you start to see the hockey stick, right? That's when this happens. So something crazy happened yesterday and it's the perfect example. So I get sold door to door, Verizon rings my doorbell, right? They're selling cable TV phone. You got that? Oh, thank you. My handy camera uh, specialist there. And they're selling me a cable TV phone, right? And, you know, no one likes to get sold door to door, but it's a nice day. They seem nice. You know, we'll humor it. Let's see how it goes, right? Knock, knock, open the door. What do you got to say for me? Here's your pitch, right? So it was two people. And it was, as soon as I saw it, I knew exactly what was happening. It was someone that was experienced and there was someone that was training, right? And the trainee got to go first and say what they wanted to say. And within 30 seconds, maybe, maybe it was 15, she gave up, she quit. Because I said, I don't want TV and I don't want phone. And so she ducked her head and she said, uh, no problem, we'll, we'll have a nice day. And then her supervisor said, well, hold on a minute. You know, let's, let's see how we can help you out today. And I knew he, he knew exactly what to do. And so I just cut to the chase because I didn't, I didn't want to like, you know, play the game. So I said, look, I have internet issues. I don't like my latency. I don't like my, my uptick and downtick. I, my, I have video interruption sometimes on my calls. I want better internet. Can we do a quick speed test? I'll show you what I have and can you beat it for me? Can we just cut to the chase and can you offer me something better? And he said, yeah, absolutely. Type in this address, let's take a look. Cool, here's what we got. This is what, what you're gonna get with us. Problem solved in like two minutes. That's the difference. That's the biggest reason why most people aren't closing right now is because they're caught up in trying to like make their presentation perfect or say their perfect features and they're not actually solving a problem. Every single person you sell to has different problems at different times, right? So you have to think about, you may have three or four different solutions for what you do, but only one is needed in the certain situation. The only way you're gonna find out what that is, is if you just ask, right? If you just ask. So the other thing, this happened too yesterday, is, and, and by the way, if we looked at this example, for what this means, right? This, this trainee, she was so caught up in the knowledge of wanting to know her product or service really, really well that she didn't have the best strategy and she definitely didn't execute really well, right? She was really focused and, and worried about having the right knowledge. Talk to a coach consultant today and this person is consuming tons and tons of content, tons and tons of training and then, you know, I ask this person, I ask her, well, how's your business doing? Are you growing? She's like, no, I haven't had sales um, in a while. And I'm like, well, why do you think that is? It's like, well, I need to really make sure my program's perfect and I train and I have it all figured out and, and I wanna make sure that I don't sound, you know, salesy or I wanna make sure I sound like I know what I'm doing. Does that sound familiar? Like you wanna sound like you know what you're doing, you don't sound salesy and you wanna have everything put together. Does that sound, 
like you? Well, that is exactly why she's not closing more sales. And I had to break it to her. I'm like, until you start actually getting clients and getting more clients and learning what they want and telling you what they want, it doesn't matter what your program is or does. You don't actually have one. I hate to break it to you, but you don't. You will have a program when someone buys it. That's when you have a program, right? You don't build a program completely and then sell it. It doesn't work. It's, you have to flip it. You have to find out what your market wants. So I'm gonna give you seven questions in a second. Seven questions, I wanna get pen and paper if you haven't gotten it yet. Seven questions. This is gonna bulletproof and get you to instant clarity in the next 10 minutes. We'll go over in five, but this will give you instant clarity tonight on what it is that is holding you back and we're going to get rid of it and you're going to know exactly what to do. Okay. Does that sound awesome? So what is it in your head right now of why you don't think you're closing sales? Let me give you a couple of examples and maybe this will help. And I want to, if you type in the chat, I'll try to read the chat here in a second to, to get this on the board. Um, but is it, fear you know are you afraid of selling is it are you skeptical and and i don't mean of of the market i'm talking about yourself do you have doubt in yourself of are you good enough why are you do you have the imposter what they call the imposter syndrome is that what's going on maybe it's you're confused right or maybe you feel disorganized Or maybe you say, you're just saying, you know what? No, I'm good. I just have a lack of leads. That's why I'm not closing more sales. If I just had more leads, I'd be having sales all day. I could go for 30 minutes on why this last one is not the reason. I don't have time for that tonight. But I, I will love to tell you more about this at a different time. Um, if you're watching, I guarantee you, you don't have a lead problem. You really don't all the lead gen stuff out there, you know what they're doing? You know what link, you know, like LinkedIn or Facebook lead gen services on average do for you? They literally spam a message in your chat for you and try to sell your, your prospect that they map out to them cold. And they just spam, I mean, I'm not, if you do digital marketing and you do this type of thing, I'm not, I'm putting you in a box. If, I know some of you don't do this, but I'm, on average, I get spammed a lot every single day from either the direct person or the service and it's spam. It's, it's cold and it's, and it really doesn't resonate. Um, so, uh, they're not helping you by the way. Um, but this isn't the reason, right? And what are all these things? These are what we call, um, limiting beliefs, right? These are limiting beliefs. We know what that is. That means you're telling yourself something of why you can't do something. You know what, you know what? Guess what? That is not true. What this is, is all a lie between your ears of what you're telling yourself every day. It's not true. This is easily overcome. These are, the reason you feel this way is because you're telling yourself that you feel this way. If you actually told yourself that you're confident, that you have sales coming in, that you're gonna crush the next call, you're gonna have the best conversation on the next conversation, you're gonna start to change what you think and how you feel. But for some reason, either you or something else got you in a funk and you're telling yourself that you feel these different things, all right? Um, now we're gonna break this tonight in the next couple of minutes. So, because this is not what we want. You need to create cash flow now. You don't have time to think this way. It's holding you back, right? So what is this for you? And let's name it and then let's deal with it right now, right? So how do you deal with it? Well, let me, let me help you regain all the reasons why this is a bunch of garbage and, and help you get to tons of clarity and confidence in the next couple minutes here, okay? I'm just gonna use my, my handy eraser. <laughs> so we got seven questions, all right? Seven questions that you need to ask yourself write these down and this will give you complete clarity and confidence for what's going on and then i'm going to i'm going to give you some homework for what to do next okay so number one is 
Look at the last, if you got one client, if you got five clients, 10, whatever it is, look at no more than 10. Look at the one, the last 10 clients that you have, okay? And relive that experience of closing the sale. And think about all the messages, all the conversations, all the text, all the emails, whatever it was that occurred before the sale took place. Think about what that was and write it out, okay? And do it again for the next client. And do it again for the next client. Look at what your process was or the, circum the, the circumstances of events that occurred to get that deal closed, all right? Maybe some of it was you, maybe you think you were lucky, maybe it was something else, whatever it was. Maybe someone gave you a sale, doesn't matter. Just write it down, write it down, okay? Then I want you to ask yourself, what emotions did you have before you officially closed? Like as you were going through it and you were getting close, what emotions did you have? Were you confident? Were you excited? Were you scared? What were your emotions? And then what was your emotion the moment you closed your sale? And what was the thought that you told yourself? What was the thought that you told yourself when you closed that sale? And write that down, okay? And once you've done that, there's massive ahas in, in just doing those two there because you literally just painted a roadmap for how you close business of how you do it, not anyone else, how you do it. That's your way, all right? There's a secret there. Let me give you some more ammunition to help you get this figured out, all right? So number one, let's go back to the basics. Does your product or service solve a problem? If it doesn't solve a problem, you can't be in business. You're not gonna be in business long. And I'm sure you do solve a problem. So does your service, product or service solve a problem? Yes or no? I'm assuming it's a yes. So my next question for you then is, what result does your product or service create? What are you creating as a result when someone works with you, when someone gives you money? What result are you giving that person or that company? What's the result? Okay. Very distinctive question comes next. It's very different, ready? How, not how, have they, the client or the company, have they told you that they actually want that result? The one you just wrote down, has your client or company, whatever it is, one person or company, have they told you they want that result? Verbatim. Number two in this, this chunk, have they told you why they bought from you over their other options? Maybe a competing product or service, maybe it was the right time, why did they buy from you? Have they told you that? Not what you think is the reason. Have they literally told you why they bought from you? If you don't know that answer, go find out. Go ask them. It will be massively huge for you to know what that is. And the third in this chunk is have they told you what their perceived blocks, their blocks, they may have the same things right here, right? What were their limiting beliefs or reasons why they can't move forward for solving the problem they want to solve? Why did they have to hire you? Why did they have to spend money on you? What was the reasons why they had to solve this problem? What did they say? Not what you think, what did they tell you their problems were, okay? Big difference. Now, those are seven questions, okay? Those are huge questions. We call that market feedback data. We talked about this the other night too. These are different, but same kind of thinking. If you spend all your time over here trying to figure out what program or product you're gonna serve and how it's gonna be awesome in the market, but you're not hearing it from your market, you're wasting your time. So, what you, be, what you would be much more beneficial in doing is just focusing on speed. And my, my challenge for you, if you're not closing sales and you haven't done this yet, this is 
by far the best thing you can do for yourself is to use these seven questions, get that figured out, and then go talk to 10 people in the next three days. Three days, I'll give you three days. You got tomorrow's Friday, then it's the weekend, so I'll challenge you to have a conversation on the weekend. But by Monday, get your 10. By Monday, close the business, get your 10 conversations in. Have 10 conversations with your marketplace, anybody. By the way, you your perception of who your target market is on face value is usually incorrect. You'd be surprised if you actually have just a genuine conversation with whoever is coming into your life today that they could potentially be a client for you. You don't know. You don't know until you start having a conversation and having questions with them. You don't know anything about that person. So don't judge on the surface, right? A lot of people do that and they waste, they, they make their sales cycle so long because they spend so, they waste so much time on the front thinking they have to pursue a specific person and, and their, their clients that want to buy from them are, are over here. They're missing the whole, the whole thing. So whoever's coming into your day every day, just have a conversation with them, care. Don't like pitch or think you have to say anything. Just find out what's going on in their life. What is the biggest challenge you have in your business right now? What do you, what's the biggest win you've had in your business? What, how's it going? Just care, all right? Learn about them and listen, listen to see if they are communicating problems and challenges that you can solve. And if you can, guess what? You can actually say, you know what? I can help you with that. Let me tell you about what we do. Let me tell you about how I can help you get this result in the next week or month or whatever and see if they'll want to work with you. Enroll them, open the door, all right? The last thing I'll say to close this out is money is not coming from the person, all right? Money comes from a clear exchange of value. If you're giving value in your conversation, online, offline, doesn't matter. If you're giving value in your conversation, then if it's good enough, if it's providing immense value and it's helping them advance, that is when they would have the obligation or the want to, to give you money in return. They're not gonna give you money unless they think you can solve their problem the best. So the only way you're gonna do that though is if you have the right conversation first, okay? And you give value. Give, give away your stuff. Give away your best stuff. Share what you know. Don't hold back. Share what you know, all right? I'm telling you, um, most people will not implement what you say when you give it. They won't even know that it's there. They won't even, it won't even hit them that you just gave away their, your best stuff. So don't worry about giving away your best stuff. Give away your best stuff. Help this person. Have a good conversation. Help them out, okay? And then invite them in if they're the right person. And if they're not, no. Say, you know, move on and end the conversation nicely and move on. You wanna to get to yeses and noes as fast as possible. You don't want lingering moments. You don't wanna think, man, I haven't talked to this person in two weeks. Do they wanna work with me or not? You don't want that. Just get, get to a yes or no as fast as possible having quick conversations, fewer and faster conversations every day. Get your 10 conversations in on Monday. Go through these seven questions and let me know how it works for you. If you wanna know your possibility right now for what you're doing in your business, if you wanna know your potential, your possibility for what you can be bringing in in cash flow right now, I want you to message me cash flow and I'm gonna send you a free profit projector assessment on what's your potential. It'll ask you questions about your business. Um, it's, pri it's private, but it takes two minutes to do and it'll show you exactly where you're at and where you can be. So if you're interested in learning more about that and getting some visibility into that for your business, just message, message me cash flow and I'll give you a free uh, two minute assessment to take and it's awesome. So I'll see you, it's Friday, so I will see you Monday, bright and early. Have a great week.